Hello to both of you and greetings from Toronto, a city you know quite well. <laughs> yes. Hey, Canada. <laughs> we are happy that you shoot this show here. So thank you for that. Uh, Dominique, let's start with you because your character, Naomi, man, her journey has been pretty complex over the years. Um, how, you know, it, it, to me, it's exhausting um, and thrilling watching the show, but for you guys to be in it, probably double so. How challenging has it been for you to play her and then see where she's going in season five? Um, well, <laughs> firstly, I'll say that um, season five has been the biggest challenge for me with this, with this character's arc. But Naomi, and because of the source material and the way that she is written on this show, has been honestly an absolute delightful challenge to play. I feel like I've grown up on this show and um, have found all different facets and aspects of my art and myself that I, you know, never even knew existed through portraying this character. And so um, I love playing her. I love who she is. I love how different we are. I love the things I get to explore that I don't kind of have in myself or, or knew that existed. Um, and I'm really excited for See where she where that goes um, in season five because I don't think we've ever seen her um, in the way that we get to see her in season five and what we get to explore yeah. um, from her past. Very cool. Now, Kian, for you, you're you're newer to the fold. Uh, what was it like coming in, uh, working with this cast, and um, were there any pranks pulled on you? <laughs> Uh, to initiate was, you, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't know if this counts as a prank, but I have to say that one of the first things I had to do in season four was uh, shoot that uh, enormous speech floating while uh, sitting on prongs. And if anyone had orchestrated a prank, that would have been a brilliant one. Um, because it was exceptionally uncomfortable. Uh, I had to contort and like almost half twerk uh, most of the time and, uh, and then speak those words. So right. that was my initiation for sure. Uh, but uh, you That's, know, stepping into um, Marco. <laughs> sorry, say that That's again. That's the expanse in a nutshell. <laughs> New cast members, we just stick them on wires and Here's a monologue. <laughs> yeah. That's, that should be the initiation. But it's, you yeah. know, it's so, the popularity of the show is insane. I mean, you know that there's so many fans. Um, Keon, what, what do you think it is? Like, what is it about, aside from the great acting that you guys give us, what is it about this show that keeps us wanting more? What do you think? Well, there's, you know, there's a lot of escapism out there. And I think that, there's a huge difference between some of that uh, material and the expanse, which I would call visionary. It's, mm -hmm. it's looking at the core of who we are as human beings and projecting that into the future to see alternate timelines of where our actions and the avenues that we take can lead. In that sense, it's not escapism at all. It's quite the opposite. It's looking out with a broader vision to see where we're headed and how each one of us actions impacts the, the future of the course that humanity takes. Um, and for that reason, I think yeah. that it's, uh, it's far more self-reflective. I think it's, um, it, it requires uh, uh, an expansion of your consciousness to sort of ride the wave of this show. And I think it's, it's popular because it doesn't talk down to anybody. In, in fact, it talks up to us to, it speaks to our potential and our, and our ability to go beyond the narrow parameters of what we're used to. I mean, yeah. the, for, uh, I, I'm a Canadian boy and I can say that growing up in a small town in, in Canada, seeing, seeing the worlds that these people live in, in the expanse is both really inspiring and, 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 and um, expansive. And at the same time, it's kind of scary because it's not that some of the things that we have that we, you'd think we would fix by the time we reach that far into the future still exist. Right. And uh, so it, in a way it's a dream come true because we, we get so far, but another way we are our own enemies.
Yeah. You, know, you don't, you can't get too far mm-hmm. from that from home, can you? No, you can't. Well, you're both so good on this show. Honestly, I cannot wait to see where it goes. And uh, again, thank you for your time today. Um, very exciting stuff ahead, I'm sure. Uh, happy holidays to you both. And thank you for your time.